まるよ Hi, I'm Gushakin GT. Welcome to Go Go Vehicle Town. Gushakin, I want to see the vehicles in Japan that work in high places. Then let's get started. Here's today's vehicle. The alien work platform, which boasts proud long arms. I'm also going to introduce you to some of his rare friends. I wonder where Mr. Aerial Work Platform is. Luffy! Here! Oh? Huh? Where? Look up! Up? Hi, Luffy! I'm Hyperdeck AT400CG, the Aerial Work Platform. Yikes! That's too high up! Can you come closer? Okay, I'll shorten the boom and come down to get closer to you. Hey, just in case though, put on a helmet. Got it! Whoa, it's coming closer little by little! Sorry for the wait, Lappy. Nice to meet you, Mr. Aerial Work Platform. Lappy? He is a vehicle that excels working in high places. High places? Like where? For example, tall buildings and condos. It can color the walls, fix broken places. It's useful in helping construct big and spacious event venues. It also comes in handy when inspecting big astronomical telescopes. That's incredible! Sure. Just give me a minute. Oh, something just came out. That's called an outrigger, and it's the important legs of the aerial walk platform. Legs? I wonder what it's going to do with its legs. Ah, now it's moving down. This hydraulic jack attached to the outrigger lifts the body so that the vehicle doesn't sway while it's walking. It supports the approximate 20-ton body with its four legs. You're right! The tires are floating! Now I'm ready. Lappy, sorry for the wait. Get in the basket. I'm getting on! I think this is going to be fun, huh? Is this the control area? Yes, the vehicle is operated using the control panel in the basket. When the blue lever on the control panel is moved, the boom on the bottom expands and constructs. And the red lever on the opposite side is used to move the boom on top. These two levers are used to adjust the height. The same thing is here too, so that the vehicle can also be operated from the ground. What is this twirling thing? It's called a window gauge and it measures the force of the wind. If the wind is too strong, it would be too dangerous to walk. I see. When you get your seatbelt on, Lappy, We'll be on our way. See you later. Whoa! We're going higher and higher. Nappy, he'll take you to the highest height of 40 meters above ground. I'm starting to see things I couldn't see when I was on the ground. Lappy, you haven't seen anything yet. I can go higher. What do you think? This is 40 meters above ground. Whoa! can you see me? The cars and people look so small. So Mr. Aerial Work Platform walks way up here.
How is it, Lappy? Doesn't it feel great to be able to see so far? Yes! I almost forgot. Today I'll introduce you to my friends, too. I'm Superdeck. I have tires on my outrigger, so I can work in high places whilst I move around. You're right! I use this roller jack to move slowly on expressways so that I can inspect the walls or check underneath bridges for any abnormalities. Huh? Are you okay with so many people being on you? No problem at all. I can lift up to a ton with this arm. I'm a tunnel inspection vehicle. I'm a little different from the other aerial work platforms. I wonder what's different about it. Wow! It's growing like a trans pantograph! Yes, this arm that can go straight up is a feature of mine. Really? What's more, I can even widen the work platform. Lappy, the tunnel inspection vehicle is great for replacing light bulbs on high ceilings. I guess it's me next. I'm Skymaster, the younger brother of the Hyperdeck. It's great to meet you. I can't go as high as 40 meters like my brother, but I can go up to 27 meters. I see one arm going straight up. Yup, since it doesn't need so much space to work, it can also work really well in narrow spaces surrounded by buildings. Making tight turns is my specialty. There are alien work platforms that operate differently from others, too. Hi there! I'm BT-400, the bridge inspection vehicle. Lappy, a bridge refers to ordinary bridges and roads in high places. This is called the bridge inspection vehicle because it inspects those areas. Interesting! So the boom is lowered from above. But... Can't Mr. Hyperdeck do the same inspection by growing his arm from below? Bridges and roads in high places often have rivers running underneath or lack wide roads, so big vehicles like Mr. Hyperdeck can't go there. And since we can, it's up to us bridge inspection vehicles. Now I understand. We lower the boom from above and check the sides of roads and bridges. We also check from underneath. At the end of the boom is attached a basket, like the one you got on before, Lappy. And the workers inspect from there. See how with this method, we can do inspections of roads and bridges at heights even this high. It's too high! I don't think I can do any inspection there. By the way, why are the workers doing swinging around those sticks? Those sticks are called concrete inspection hammers, and by listening to the sound of when it hits a concrete, workers can tell if the structure needs repairing. When repairs are necessary, it makes a sound that's different from other places. That's why we're moving around, hitting different places. Uh, that sounds like a tough job. I see that there are many kinds of vehicles that work in high places. Lappy, isn't it great that you were able to meet these rare vehicles? Yes! So, Lappy, did you learn a lot about us today? Thank you for teaching me so much! Okay, then I'm off to work. Bye, Lappy! We're counting on you! Go Go Biku Town is currently on YouTube! 
Go Go Biku Town Subscribe.